So how are you doing today? Yeah, good, mate. Good. Really good as it goes. That's good, that's good. So first question I want to ask is, what made you start boxing? Um, what made me start boxing? It was was a friend of mine, it was, years ago. Um, I was about 12 years old, I was, at the time. And um, obviously, we were out playing and that. And I just wanted to know where he was going. So I followed him one day and it ended up being the Gwent ABC in Swansea, the town hill where I'm from. And um, that was it then. I went home to see my dad, told him about it. And 20 odd years later, still doing it. So what was your amateur career like? Yeah, it was good, mate. Um, represented Wales a couple of times, uh, won the British, won the Welsh a load of times, travelled to Estonia, France. Um, yeah, it was good. Went to Spain, Gibraltar. Enjoyed it. Yeah, it was good. I, I had a good... I, I think I had 36 fights, won 31, and about five Welsh titles, one British title, two silvers in the British as well, and then represent my country as well. Okay, so you had a fight with Tommy Frank for the British flyweight title that got cancelled. Do you think yeah. that could potentially happen sometime down the line, or? Yeah, I, th- I think it's definitely going to happen. Um, we just as it goes, we're just waiting for confirmation and the announcement. If I'm honest, for the reschedule. Um, obviously, I'm not allowed to say anything. I'm just going to wait for my promoter, managers, and stuff to to do that. Um, yeah, but yeah, it will be rescheduled and announced soon. I think. Okay, so if not the Tommy Frank fight, who else do you think you'd potentially fight? Um, I have no idea, to be honest. Um, no one said anything about a plan B or anything like that, so that's all we are focusing on at the minute is trying to get the Tommy Frank fight over the line. Okay, so what's been your toughest fight throughout your whole career so far? Toughest fight? Well, it's, uh, probably the Martinez fight was probably the toughest one. And as Thomas Asombo was quite tough as well, really tough. Um, I know I got I lost the Hector Flores and the Sandoval fight, but that was just one of them shots. I think they couldn't, nothing could have happened. But toughest fight being in there was either Martinez or Asombo, if I'm if I'm honest. Okay, so five ten years from now, you look back on your career. What do you want to achieve? What belts do you want to achieve? What what would you say end goal is? Well, everybody wants to be a world champion, don't they? But let's be honest, if I retire tomorrow, I'd be happy because I've done everything in boxing. I fought for everything. I fought for Commonwealth, European, Intercontinental titles, world title, fought, fought in Eliminators, travelled the world. So I've had a good career. Not so much money-wise, maybe, but a good decorated career, I think. And um, I'm, I'm very proud of it. Okay, so if you could have a wish to have any fight with anyone in your weight class, any era, who do you think it would be? Yeah, well, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's a tough one, that is. Um, uh, I'd like, to, probably, I'd like to fight maybe Sonny Edwards because, because um, he's a friend of mine and we've talked about it for years, been mentioned for years as well. Um, we've talked about it ourselves when we were in Ukraine a while ago, but that was for British titles, but this is world honours now, but that, that possibly that would probably be my favourite fight to have, just just because, really. No animosity or anything like that, it's just, we've always talked about it, we've always been civil about it as well, and he's a mate of mine as well. Okay, so what sponsors have you got? Um, I got a few sponsors, full time ones. I got one called NJ Trading, um, Limitless, they a trampoline park in Swansea, uh, Sea Lift, they a a diving company that helps recover people. Well, it can recover people or things that gone missing in in the sea and that. Uh, they do welding and that. Um, I got Kira Jenkins, who's number one tips in Wales on the horses. So hopefully he's having a good day today in Cheltenham. Um. I got, uh, what else I got? Uh, SRM, Logistics, LSB, LSB and Sons, um, Sturgis Mortgages, uh, Dylan Richards, uh, PT, Jamie Morgan PT, Warehouse as well, the Warehouse Gym. Um, what else I got? Uh, 
I think who else I got? I got a few others as well, I think. Um, but I can't really think of them off the top of my head. I hope they're not. Um, oh, Pippa, Pippa, who owns McDonald's. Uh, she's she sponsored me recently, which has been great. Um, but I can't think of anything else on, over the top of my head. Okay, so yeah, that's the all the questions I have for you. So thanks so much for taking this interview. I really do appreciate that. And yeah, we'll do it again. All right, and lovely, mate. Nice one.